28 The story of Stump Ridge City within the land called the Changers Church Valley Reservation. He reason this town has the word stump in it is because when we got there they had cleared some of the land and had not time to pull the stumps. So there were stumps everywhere so we just settled with the name Stump Ridge City. There was plenty of stumps and there was a ridge not very far from there. We set up a rope line down the side of the ridge and we have plenty of people that want to ride down the big gorge to the bottom. The population of Stump Ridge City has 100 residents, has 120 homes, stores, factories, hotel, dinner and bank, horse stable with fix-it shop. The Changer Church Main Office Church, Council, Court, Jail, Church School, County School and City Hall, General Store, Laundry Mat, Barber's Shop, Hairdresser, Small Hospital, Dentist, Movie Theater, Gospel, Country Music, Dance Hall. When the town gets bigger there are more businesses added. I got here about breakfast time and that is where I headed. I got there and ordered and just watched everyone going here and there. Some paid and left and others come in. It was not long when I got what I wanted and sat and ate still watching everyone come and go. I got done and headed to the church. I got there and the one behind the counter I did not know or have ever seen. So when I went up to desk I said turn around and see my picture behind you. They got up and turned around and then said your messages are in your office. They said you might be here today. I left and went to my office. I read all the messages and they were all from here. I guess we are going to have a good day at the courthouse. I guess we have about 20 cases to hear today. I made some phone calls and then went to the city hall. I always say that because the courthouse is behind City Hall and it is in the same building. The jail, City Hall, the courthouse. This way everything is right here and we do not have go anywhere to get anyone to bring them to. The courthouse. When I got there the one behind the desk I did not know so I did the same thing. When I walked up I said my picture is on your back wall. He turned around and then said all your messages are in your office. I said thanks and went to my office. I read all the messages and they were pretty much all the same ones that at the church office. I had all 20 cases on my desk and I went through them and they were pretty much the same thing. For some reason everyone is stealing things. There is 20 cases of this. They know that they have to go back to Tone Diddle for retraining for that. I went into the courtroom and everyone stood up and sat down when I did. Now I want all twenty to stand up where you are and I will ask you a question one by one. I asked the first one that says here you stole from one of the stores and why did you do this? For some reason my card was declined and I was hungry. All the rest of the same thing? They all said yes. I said okay sit down. I got up and left the room. I went to my office and made some call to the main office and give them the names of those. That was in the courtroom. They all come back with ID and valid. I said why is this that all of them are that way? They all come in within the same week and have all got the same date on them and they never went to the main office and toned it all for update training to get a new ID. I said okay I have all of them in court that they have all stolen goods so they can eat. I know what to do expect 20 people tomorrow. They said okay we will get ready for them. I went back into the courtroom and sat down then I said I want all of you to come up here and show me your IDs one by one. Sure enough all of the expired the same day. I said before the ID expires you have to go back to Tone Diddle for retraining to stay here and work. They said we do. I said you have two and it was in the rule book you got an even on the back of the ID. So tomorrow you all go to Tone Diddle for retraining. Then you can get your new ID so you can stay here until it runs out again. We do this because of your classification changes and we have to update you status and the only way is to redo the training. Now you have two classes to go to.
for you stole now you get to go to two classes. One for the ID and the other for stealing. Next time I want anyone that is hungry go to the church and they will feed you. I want you to put up a sign in places where people can see it in this way this will not happen. Again, then one of the guys said we never looked at the date when it expired. That is why it would not work. I said that is why. I said they can all go back to the jail for the night and they will make sure you get there and sign and take your classes. They all said they would so this way they can go back to work and eat again. So if this ever happens again go to the church and they will feed you. They all said they would and said no one told us. It is in your rule book. They said we never got one. I said everyone should have got on for we put one in every mailbox. In every city. They said we have a mailbox. I said everyone gets one when they get out of training and go to the town they work in. They should have told you to go to the post office and get a box. We was never told that. Okay thanks I will check into it. I got up and left and went to my office and make some more phone calls. Now it is time to go to the next town see you there.